So we took a trip down to the Electro at Harrogate today and we're gonna have a wander around and talk to some of the brands and stands that we've got here. But of course, the first person I bump into is Gordon eating what effectively is a late lunch. Mm, milky Ware. Oh, for it, those it, it, people it, it, who don't speak mouthful, remember. So clear your mouth. Here we go. It's the sweet you can eat between meals without ruining your appetite. And he's had a meal today, and I have. Well, let's get to where we are. We're at the Ansel stand. Should we have a look at their little downlighter that we have? There we're is. Now, that's, we've just released a video on that. If you haven't seen it, check it out. But it's one of the great new additions to the Prism Pro range. I'm going to try and rescue it because... Ooh, it's, it's in here. It's in. Someone's shown what? it off. Okay, so let's have a look at it. Oh, we're gonna, yeah, we're, oh, it's all... Okay. You that can be on camera. Yeah. 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 Now, that is one small downlight, isn't it? Okay. Yeah, it is. Now, you just... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, obviously most downlights are yeah, you're probably uh, 70 mil cut out. This is 42 millimeter cut out. Okay, IP65 as well, so we can be using those uh, bathroom yeah. type locations. And, and look at that. Temperature selectable as well with a little switch at the side and the toolless cable. Now, I don't want to take all of Joe Robinson's thunder away. Check out the review of that product if you haven't seen it. Is it going well? It's all right, actually. Yeah. yeah. A lot of interest over it at the moment, to be fair. Um, brand new to our range, so a lot of interest. For people like the size of it. There's not many out in the market at the moment, so it's uh, doing lighting, a, isn't it? Yeah, it's exactly. Yeah. yeah. Best light to the ones that you're smuggling. Aren't yeah, exactly. Right? Okay. Oh, there you go. Yes. So check out that if you're visiting the show tomorrow. Here we've got the Milwaukee stand. Oh, we've, we've got a lot of Milwaukee stuff. We haven't have, we? and this looks like we don't know what this is. A grease gun. We haven't found a use for a grease gun yet, uh, but if we do, it looks like Milwaukee have got one. They've got everything. Just look at that. They've got everything. So on we go then. Yeah. So what are you going to take me next to then, Gordon? Uh, we've got electric centre there. There's, a, there's an area we're getting into. So there's a lot of uh, the green tech side of Edmondson Electrical here. So if you're obviously solar, battery storage, EV charging, all those things that go together. We've got a lot of that kit on display here. Some of the chargers we've looked at in the past. I can see the, uh, I can see the Zappy. I can also see... Ooh. It's the Sync EV, and if you missed it in the news a few weeks ago, Sync EV now owned by La Seco Group. Okay, so yeah, and that's a, a tiny little EV charger. It's and it's good to see that uh, electrical wholesale is embracing this change, isn't it, as we move to a green society. Yeah, that's it. So this is, yeah, a nice little product. Tiny, We're yeah. looking forward to taking yeah. a look under the lid of that one. Oh, onwards and upwards. Let's pop down to another power Ooh, tool no, brand. We've got to stop here. We've got to stop at Makita. If we're going to do tools, we're going to stop at Makita. Oh, Nothing better is there than when you've done a, a hard morning's work and you get to your uh, recognised tea break. It's 15 minutes long, that break, and you crack open the Makita coffee and you manage to make yourself one cup of coffee in that 15-minute break and you might have enough time to drink it before you go back to work. Yeah. There's a product there you love, though, Gordon. We have, yeah, we've really, yeah, the coffee machine will part for a minute, but this, uh, this little cooler box, it's actually a heater and a cooler box. It is. So it uh, depends on where you are in the in the year. Uh, ooh, it's a little bit pricey, but it's uh, £390, but... I've actually been using this over Christmas because my freezer at home failed and that's kept a, kept a bag of frozen peas at minus 18 for about three months. Oh, right. Okay. So validation, I would suggest that that's a, that's a great good product. product. Yeah, down to minus 18 is where it goes, up to plus 60. So not at the same time, we must stress. So you can't keep things hot and cold at the same time. It's hot or cold. And you can't do it in a thermos flask either. You can't put, you know, pour a hot drink in there and an ice lolly and hope the yeah, two stay uh, temperature. Check out the review of that. Yeah, if you don't want to as well. Yeah, really good. Uh, we'll swim across the Nipex here. Well, we've got the IET coming up here on the right hand side. So we're in, we're going to just keep looking to the left, keep looking to the left. Uh, we don't want to uh, stop there and have a look through their regs book, do we? Look at the tables they've got in there. That's in the on site guy. Yeah, on site guy. We don't want to yeah. look there. What about the regs? I think we had a page in there. Yeah. Moving through. Well, let's, uh, oh, so that's an interesting one. I think you need a set of this for the back of your van. Actually. It does look nice, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah, I, mean, I like uh, that. So this is. That. I know you like a pouch. Oh, this is like an industrial scale pouch. Yeah. Wow. Well, yeah, that is. Yeah, I am a, a fan of a pouch, and I would suggest that's a pouch at a different level. There, isn't it? That's organising your tools and some. And it looks like we can unclip it. So if we want to take it back inside, don't we? After a day of grafting, we wanted to leave our van empty. Either. Yeah, pop them out and go. I don't know what that's for. It's for cakes. Cakes. Oh, you, you know, when yeah. you're doing the bake off, Gary's Great British Bake Off. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, or, or if you haven't got a wood chisel, oh, I suppose you could uh, have a little go as a wood chisel. Yeah. No, I like that. That's a cle clever little solution to a to a problem that a lot of electricians have, a lot of tradespeople have, leaving yeah. their tools in the van when so you can bring them out fully assembled. Yeah. Still, a van comrade. So there we go. I haven't seen that before. Have you no, seen that before? No, I haven't. I haven't no. Seen that before. Simple, simple ideas are always can the you best. Do this for me? Shall we have a look at what, what uh, we have got? Oh, yeah. Got a nice little uh, stand here that suggests the Torque uh, CPD is worth having a go at. And we'll just plug our latest 
podcast. So the, if you haven't checked in the uh, electrician electrical news weekly, it is available now. Weekly. How often is it out? It is weekly. Gary. What day of the week does it come it's out on Monday? It does. So we're on our second episode coming through, and it's available on all popular podcasting networks, yeah, isn't it? You can listen to it in the big car. Yeah, we so can. We'll be we back go. to score more in a minute. They're hovering around in the background. We've got a fuse connection unit. We'll have a look at them there. Yeah. So we've got so oh, we've got yes. on hammers, Gary. We've got hammers. Yes, yeah. electricians' hammers. Oh, look at this. Wow. This looks like a new set. So this goes back to our talk series, doesn't it? So this is the the full talk because we've even got the calibrating tool here as well haven't we yeah so we've reviewed that on the channel again we'll leave a link to that video in the description if you want to check it out we've got the little pico handle there oh the pico yep your favorite oh yeah yeah it's uh bd it's got a it's got a a little bit of a a whiff of james bond about it hasn't it you you can imagine this is the was it the attache case or something like that gordon you remember back in the day exclusively ready for this getting closer come on in rich have a look what we got you like that? Yeah. That is Bond again, isn't it? Mm. Bond box, Bond tool. Imagine that. Yeah. Got the bits in there. Nice. I like that. Again, EICRs. EICRs. Is that, is that, that magnetic? Is that magnetic? That's magnetic. Oh, it's brilliant. As we move in on then, <laughs> so uh, I don't know where we go next. That is fantastic. Got to get one of them. Yeah. So, uh, where would we like to go now? Oh, we've got Schneider here. Let's Schneider have a They've got an all, AFDD uh, rig. Let's have a look at that. AFDD is very mm-hmm. popular at the moment, I think, because of the, the, the... Did they change the regulations at some point? the regulations. Okay, so AFDDs. here we have. So we've got an AFDD rig, and I got a lovely demonstration earlier, so hopefully I'll get something very similar again here when the lovely lady from Schneider comes and joins me again. So you're going to demonstrate uh, what happens when there's an uh, arc in circuit with only an RCBO, aren't you, for me first? Is that what you're going to yeah, do? Yeah, so we've got the you've got, RCBO. You've got to turn them on, have you? Yeah, so... We do the RCBO, um, turn that on. So what we've got is we've got a normal everyday appliance with the hair dryer. And obviously we see what happens there on the arc. So nothing's happening? No, nothing's happening. Okay, so it turned itself off because that's a safety feature of the rig, isn't it? So it didn't continue to create that arc, did it? No, it didn't. So what we're going to do now is we're going to change it to the new AFDD, Arc Fault Detection Circuit Breaker. So if we start that one and turn that one on, again, we're going to use the hairdryer as an example. And we should almost see instantaneous disconnection, shouldn't we? I think. Yeah. So start the hairdryer up. So the arc, it clicks off. As a safety feature. Unbelievably quick. And that energy, we believe, if it was left present as it was with the RCBO, is a a point of which we think there could be a fire, isn't it? It is, yes. Okay, very good. Nice rig as well. Thank you for that. No, thank you. We're moving on. <laughs> oh, Hager, do we, shall yeah, we, we'll we'll we got... drop into Hager? Say hello to Hager. Well, oh, they're in full flow, they're all having coffee and all the rest of it. <laughs> Love to look at their double stacker. Do you want to have a look at a little double stacker? Here, oh, wow. Double stacker. Triple. Hang on. Look at that. So, is this the future? So, we think our good friends on the continent tend to have consumer units, dual at least, aren't they? They can tend to mix time clocks in there and contactors of different manufacturers, don't they? Yeah. I know we're obsessed in this country of keeping it all to the same manufacturer, but that could be where we're going, especially as we start to take on the ability to generate our own electricity and then perhaps Ireland in comes in, that more and more stuff's going to be at that mains end, yeah. and this is where people like Hager are at the forefront of that, isn't it? Yeah, and these bigger consumers. Do you agree with that? Well, we're already exploring a new board where we're looking at adding uh, prosumers into that, where yeah. we're going to start putting producers and bringing in solar into a board, because obviously that can uprate the uh, the current rating of a board, so we're looking at producing a special board to handle that at the moment. All oh, right, so you could be in a position where you're bringing current into the board and maybe using the maximum out of the board, yeah, all of a sudden absolutely. you suggest it might be 100 amps? Is that what you're saying? No, we might be above because uh, if we're, we're supplying 100 amps into a board, yep. we're also going to top that up with possibly 16 from solar panels. So we've all of a sudden, we've got 116 amps in a board. We've got to be careful of that one. Yeah, I know we're taking it to its extremities and yeah, people will absolutely. comment on that, but that's a good manufacturer keeping ahead, isn't it? Yeah, we are. So we're looking at limiting the current that can be used through that board. So we're possibly going to change the main switch for a double pole MCB rated at 100 amps. That way we can't pull more than 100 amps through that board. Yeah. Oh, I do, I do like that. What are we thinking about when we're going now to put an additional earth electrode? Say we're doing an install or a complete okay. refurbishment, and they're suggesting that it would be good to put an earth electrode in. Well, we haven't got any IET, haven't given us any uh, resistive okay. values of that. Okay, for, for that reason, when we go into island mode, yeah. we've got to be very careful we don't switch off 
that earthing arrangement when we disconnect from the main supply. So an extra earth, load, earth electrode would give us that ability. Yep, so once I've gone into that mode though, I've obviously relying on an earth electrode now where the system was perhaps a TN system. Surely there's going to be something of like a 100 milliamp RCD in that location effectively becoming a TT? There certainly would have to be. So we, you're we, considering putting that in as well? Uh, absolutely, if we're going to do a specialised island mode board, okay, for, it's only going to be for special um, sort of applications to start with. Not everybody, it's not going to be general. Okay. It, will, it will be, it, it will be. Eventually it'll get there, but not to start with. So yes, we will do that as a special board. So we're having another RCD before the board effectively effectively Absolutely. becoming a TT. If, if we're going to have the ability to disconnect from supply, we'd have to do that. Would that be a time delay one? Because obviously we're going to have natural we, earthing we'd, we'd, in the boards. We'd have to look at selectivity then between the devices. So if it needed a time delay, we have to, we would put a time delay in there. All over it. Love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah brilliant. Well done. Thank, Thank you. you. Moving on. Thank you. Moving on. That's Mega, uh, mega. Oh, 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 got, oh, got the charlatan. Yeah, anyone who's seen us do our race wall, this gentleman here left himself right to the end and then brought his own kit, didn't you? Fantastic. Why did you bring me own kit. You out? did. You were brilliant, weren't you? Well, possibly, yes. You were good, weren't yeah. you? Yeah. But you're slightly moving down that board. You might have to come back. We might have to have a, a veterans board, maybe, and you'll oh, be top of that one. Okay, let's do that. Then. Yeah, veterans yeah. board. Yeah, I'll come back. Oh, I think I'll do a veterans board. Yeah, I'll come back. Yeah, no people problem. with grey hair. Ah. Oh, okay. what about so, low hair? No, it's a different board, isn't it? Oh, okay. Talking to talking to grey hair, we better meet, we better yeah, yeah, yeah better speak to him. Yeah. Hello, big fella. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. good. So, what do you want to tell me about? What's the new stuff that Mega are involved with? Yeah, we've got lots of new stuff, but we can't tell you because it's all top secret. Okay. What about your EV adapter? We're looking at that at the minute, aren't we? We are indeed. Yeah. So there should be a video out very shortly. Joe Robinson's putting your EV adapter to the sword, I think, at the moment. So we'll be interested to see how that works. I've put a little video out myself on my own YouTube channel and Instagram. Uh, yeah, yeah. Get it, get it in there. Yeah. Like it in and there. subscribe. Get it in there. Well, how do I find your channel then? Oh, well, it's just uh, Lee Baker underscore mega. Okay, yeah, on brilliant. YouTube. And how many are you up to 10 subscribers yet? Not quite. So when you get to 10, <laughs> I'm unsubscribing, you'll go back to 9. You're watching. Right, I'm winning all, so you. thank you very much, Lee. <laughs> right, on we go. Brother Label Printer. Now, we've got we to gotta dive in here. This has been We've instrumental in uh, yeah. giving us our times, yeah. hasn't it? Ooh, what's this then, Gordon? It looks like a mock up. Of what's going on inside that brother? What's going on inside? Brother printing machine. Okay. Mm -hmm. And again, I mean, we've had a little bit of adjustment, haven't we, with labels on consuming units and things like that. So it'd be interesting to see how brother are going to adapt to maybe reducing some of those labels. So let's have more labels. Yeah, here we go. And so here we go. So hello. Obviously, Uh, a few changes in the 18th edition about labelling. No, we've done more labelling. So basically, what we've got today, uh, we're highlighting TZE tape, which is standard tape. We're highlighting heat shrink tube tape and we're highlighting flag taping as well and there you assigned you all our, our um, examples of how we label and, and what we label so is that a different tape just for flags different tape just for flags but what we do uh, better for the environment is that all the cassettes are made compatible for every different machine mm-hmm. and every different size of label so that you never have to throw away one bit of plastic all the tapes are compatible with all the machines so you don't use double the tape so when I'm thinking about flags obviously it might be in some sort of control system for AV etc but we're also thinking about the strings aren't we coming off our solar PV panels having to be identified throughout their run and that's yes. maybe where a tag style one comes in as well wouldn't it uh, yes absolutely so network infrastructure and data we normally find with flagging yep, like this uh, anything kind of like cable orientated we're doing cable shrink uh, heat shrink cables and we've got 25 years on those they can be buried under the ground they can be dug up 25 years later and you'll still be able to read them they won't peel off oh, and you're a big go. fan aren't you of heat shrink Gordon I love the heat shrink yes, yes. We've got, I've got some of that heat shrink tape. I didn't realize he actually did a separate tape for just for flags do. so what's the difference between so a flagged tape and a normal basically, tape basically uh, if you have if you look at this example here you can do that which would work as a flag yeah but yep. that's on a normal tape but you will find eventually, look, that will start to peel off and open up because oh, technically right. that's just stuck together. Whereas in a flag tape is specifically designed, you might be able to see it just. But if you can see in the middle of this flag tape, yeah. there's, a, there's a kind of bit in there, so it folds over itself, so it will not peel off or rip off in any kind of way that that would do from a standard tape. I like yeah. innovation. So, yeah, yeah mm-hmm. it's good. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, we'll have to. We'll, we'll, we got, I'll we, have to get some flag tape now. We do love this brother machine because this is the one where we print all the labels for the race wall. So if you've come along and done the electrician's challenge for us at Lineside Studios, this is the machine in which we print off your magnetic strip to position you. Hopefully, hashtag above Aaron. Yeah. On we go. Yes, on we go. Uh, Hotwood Hall College. You're going to see them soon, girl. I am. Yeah. I am. They're not here at the minute. Any reason they're orange? Because orange is the electrical colour. Is that why you chose it? This is um, our fire rated okay. box. 
Four yeah, right ones or orange, okay. Yeah. The ceramic in ceramic terminals, Gary. Yeah, I think that's half the problem, isn't it? Sometimes people make a fire rated enclosure by using, say, a metal conduit box and then don't have fire rated connectors in there. I've seen that many times. There's a top tip for you. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, it's a fire rated box. Yeah, these are our um, PE inlay boxes. All right, they're nice. So if anyone's using an SWA gland. All right, yeah, got the, oh, that's ah. good. Yeah, that's clever. Um, captive. All right. Um, so you sell that to the SWA? All oh, right, yeah, that's yeah, a gland as well. Yeah, yeah, we do those as well. So with our box, you get, we give you the little um, lid retainer so yep. it doesn't fall off. So when the guys are working on it. Yeah, plus your height. You yes. don't want to go down your steps yeah, to find and, 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 and then step on it. Yep. Uh, with the connectors, you can choose which, where you want to put it. So if you've got cable coming in over here, you can fix it to this side like so okay yeah if you wanted to you can have two terminals one here one here oh wow That's you good. don't need two boxes yeah so this you can put anyway it got plenty of space there for wiring mm. and lots of access with that curved lid very much so so a lot of our customers they like this box because they have a nice flat surface yeah they can mount anything on here so it's cctv outdoor floodlight ah, right onto the front um, of the box these all come in eight different sizes so this is um there's two bigger than this in fact um and you can mount this three ways you can mount it on the rear and we do we sell oh, these right. as well oh, wow. for that's on good. poles oh, yeah well that one yeah that's clever and you can mount it through the back there and we give you the seals that will retain its ip rating or you get the bracket with it as well so you can fix it ah so you've got side fixing so you don't have to actually drill the box out like so. this yeah, yeah we like that yeah so oh, that's clever yeah, yeah. A lot of design features in that one, I would suggest. Yes, yeah. this is um, German made. Uh, Hensel's been going since 1931. So it's not that they're new, they're global, uh, but they are new to the UK market. Oh, wow, that's a good Watch out for them. So that's yes. Hensel. Yeah. Yeah. Did, did you go to the opening ceremony when they missed opened that one? Go. Go. Okay. Missed that okay. Okay. Thank you. You did very well there. Yeah, there brilliant. You go. Yeah. 1931. Shall we, yeah. shall we speak to our good friends at Matrail? Oh, yes. They haven't got their ring final circuit tester here, but if you want to check out their ring final circuit tester, I'm sure Gordon will leave a link for it in the description. That Joe's made a brilliant video on that. Yeah, right? it's, a, it's, it's a great bit of kit. Yeah. It is a great bit of kit. And it's, uh, yeah, it's a popular video, that one. We've got the EV tester. We've got our favourite, the MI3155. Yeah. And with this EV doctor with the 1532XA, we've done a whole video on that, showing you that, and it also explains the functions that go between the uh, EV charging lead as well. This one also looks familiar. Have we made a video on this active switch? We have active switch, yeah, so that's great for obviously if you're doing a lot of testing, three phase installations. With that auto test, you can yeah program up a lot of, uh, yeah make your life easier when it comes to testing. And I think Matrell are all about making your life easier, aren't they? Yeah, that's it. Shall we go over to Click? I think our clever fuse connection unit we want to have a look at. We'll come back to Whisker. It's up here. Okay. Do you ah. want to tell us about it? So obviously adding to the mode range now we've launched fuse connection unit. Obviously it's got the adapter plate on there which can come off. So if you haven't got a deep enough back box, obviously that can go on there. We can also use it as a flex outlet as well. So why is it exactly the same as a normal fuse connection unit? So explain to me then, so I've got, is that a switch? Yeah, so that's a retractive button, we're calling it, rather than a switch. So obviously still more, still be able to use it, it's so a momentum switch. Obviously if your Wi-Fi goes down, you've still got that capability there of having a switch that works. So it's taken away from the traditional smart control. If your Wi-Fi is down, you're out with system basically. So we've still got functional use, but then can be used in conjunction with a PIR, temperature sensor, any light and modules to turn a light on and do whatever you want. So give us an example then. So I install one of these so, to a load yeah. that I might then want to be controlled from my phone, is that correct? Yeah, correctly. Give so us that you example. can put this or you can put maybe this on a towel well. Yes. You could use one of the heating controllers as well, thermostat and heating controllers. Temperature drops into that room. It can then have an automation automatically that's going to turn this on to turn the towel rail on. Or you could go into your phone with an app or Alexa or Google and turn this on as well. So I can use Alexa and Google. So I ask Alexa exactly. to turn on my exactly. towel rail. That's the there future, isn't it? That's the future. Thank you very much. Cheers, for that. thank you. Yeah, so this is a product we're going to look at very soon. Okay, so let's have a look at this. the uh, consumer unit relocation box. It's got a few things we like instantly, and that's the top job terminals from uh, from Vargo, Gary. 
These, uh, yeah, not way good. Yeah, yeah, not right. So, it's, uh, yeah, I think this is 10 circuits, obviously different size terms, you've got your bigger circuits in the middle there. And uh, yeah, so ideal if you've got to put a new consumer unit in, but they haven't got space for the new consumer unit with all those extras you want to add, and you need to do a relocate. So, Tom, I'm writing an example, we, we could be coming into the top side of here with our circuits and then going out on the bottom side all the other way around. It wouldn't matter, would it? No. Which way around we go for those. So I'm bringing my cables in, I'm extending a consumer unit. I'm using this as my junction point, aren't I, in order to get those cables longer for the new location. Yeah, and the clever thing is obviously these uh, earth rails here on the uh, on the DIN rail down the block, normally you have a metal rail on the back and that would be linked. We've got around that because it's uh, it's a plastic din rail. Okay, plastic din rail. The problem there is we'd have linked all the CPCs here, and when we're in the consumer unit doing our testing, our dead testing for those end to ends on ring final circuits, etc., we'd have a, a confusing yeah, reading. You'd, wouldn't have we? A, you'd have an interesting reading to uh, to deal with there, or a challenge. So, yeah. so, Would you like to go so, now? On that? Pop down here. Mm -hmm. Rear side. Yeah, this is a lesser with, spotted with the brush. Yeah, now, look brush. at this here. It is looks this like a new it, Nipex product. It is. David? Yeah, it's uh, this is it, the new range. Yeah. Uh, new range of what? Brushes. Brushes. Yeah. yeah. Just, just show us how that works again. Yeah. So I don't know if electricians know how these work. Ooh, just, controversial just, topic. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Back and forth. So, talking about tools and knowing how to use them, I think you uh, undertook the uh, electrician's challenge, didn't you? I did. And I did. you used some Nipex tools and you did it? I did, and yeah. We suggested it might have been the first time you've used them in anger. Correct. Yes, yeah. it was. Yes. 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 Okay. Uh, it wasn't the quickest time. It wasn't the quickest time, no. Um, and lots of people target your time now. It's one of the times they want to beat as well. Oh, well, that's in, embarrassing. In the marketing world. You've got to keep tuning in. <laughs> got to keep yeah. tuning in. Dare I ask for my five and ones here, my favourite tool of last year? Shall we have a quick are, look yeah. at those? Let's have a look at some of your tools. Got anything super new to us? Uh, no, not yet. No. June time is June time when we announce. You can't tell us, can you? No. It's always top secret. Let's have a... But these are your... Uh, they are my favourites, okay? So they're the, the five-in-ones. We've done a review uh, with um, Gifford Electrical on those. Uh, we did a review on those, and I think they are spanking. Okay, and I gave them to an electrician to use, and his feedback was to me, Gaz, you're dead right, they're brilliant. So, right. so as I don't use them in anger very often, yeah, I've yeah. got some proper feedback. Uh, I must say, I like these electrician scissors. We didn't know we needed scissors until we got a set, but uh, yeah, they are quite useful then. Yeah, LED strip, all sorts of fine, fine uh, stranded cables when we put a ferruled end on them. Oh, yeah. Those are, oh, And another one we love nips. actually, since we've got super nips. I don't know how anyone can survive without a set of super nips no. these days. Now these are, yeah, we use them all the time. Great for LED strip. In the, in the powerful version and the insulated version as well. Oh, yeah, look like at that. that. A little bit smaller. Yeah, a little well, bit smaller. So. We, we mm. had some great fun with those and we used them in lots of applications. Again, there is a video on that and hopefully we'll leave a link for that one in the description as well. Well, onward and upward. Thank We're you. going on. Thank and you, David. Bix. Don't forget the bits. Enjoy. <laughs> Keep them avoiding there. He's trying there. Yeah. Got some new smart lights from LED vans here as well. Okay, oh, so a, oh, you're going to switch them on, Gary. Oh, I am going to switch them on. Look at there that. We go. Yes. Smart. There's a switch down there. I like <laughs> it. So that'll be nice. That's uh, yeah. So that's outdoor lighting range. Yeah, outdoor lighting range. Yeah. Go on and tell me that. So why is that flashing intentionally? Hang on. Well, hang on. Uh, it flashes now because what you'll do is you'll open the app, and with it flashing, all it's all it's doing is it's looking for a connection, so you can connect to the internet, and then when you open the app, it'll pop up to save searching for the product itself, which we all know the problem of looking for the product yes. to connect to, that finds you. Oh, right. And then you select the OK button, it'll connect, and then it'll flash off once more and come back on, and then you are able to control it via the app. So tell me what the control is. So I've got that in my garden or yep. my, my long country winding path up to my uh, large establishment. What can I do on the app with those lights? Dim it, change the color, so tunable white, so you can go from warm white, natural white, daylight white, dim it up and down and you can even connect it to your Alexa Google Home so if you've come in from the garden forgot to turn it off Alexa turn garden lights off yeah well you can do that with a towel rail as well Gary yes so, yeah. so we're getting a combination of great things that I can ask my Alexa to do yeah. at the minute she just plays dad songs playlist so uh, yeah, yeah I wonder. it's good so it's flashing for that reason thank yeah, you for that very Brilliant. good there. Okay, <laughs> so this is this is something that we we saw a couple of years ago, didn't we, um, Gordon? That we really really liked. I know there's one open there, so let's just get this one open. So there we have it. It's the FT45s. Okay, we absolutely love those, didn't we? When we were looking at doing our data, and obviously we've got our two systems there. We've got the A and B system. Which one are we using in the UK? We're using the B for British. Yeah, an A for America, is it? Yeah, it doesn't well, quite work like that, but uh, that's a good way of uh, using your default uh, memory. And again, I'm sure Gordon will leave you a link to a video where we actually put it through its paces, and we use that tool back at Lineside Studios. Yeah. We do and like those. The power of the twin that we've featured before as well. Yeah. 
which is you can even demo that it's, that's a you're up for that yeah, one which I? you don't let students use gary did you no yeah. No, 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 no. I didn't let students use that at all. Yeah. It's because it's A, it's really easy, and you don't learn anything by using the correct tools to do the job. There you go. That sounds helpful, Gary likes to be. Oh, we love a D-line clip. Oh, they're here as well. So we've featured these on the channel many times, haven't we, Gordon? We've used them on our EV installs. We do like we those. Have. We've got an EV video coming out tonight where we actually use some of these this week. So, yeah, nobody likes uh, nobody likes to see a big cable cleat on the on the outside of a wall, especially when you uh, highlight the fact by putting a penny washer on the top of it as well. So we're looking for, you know, that's the... It's going to look like that on the wall. OK, so we've got that black clip. It's almost invisible, isn't it? Yeah, yeah there we go. So we, we use them again this evening. Check out that video. Yeah, that's good. And the oh, D-line. Yeah. We always like a D-line. So. Yeah, and then see where we get the D from. Yeah. Okay, the, the shape of the trunk in, and our clips are in there, obviously for premature collapse. Yeah, premature collapsing of our wiring system because that would be a surface wiring system that could fail in the event of a fire. But the clips are discreetly hidden in there, and we've done a lovely video and a short video on that as well, haven't yeah, we? I like that one. We do, and they come in lots of different colours. Yeah. Oh, link to home. Here's a new one. I think there's uh, Rick told me about something here. Have you got a kettle on this stand? Is there a, is there a, is there a, is there a smart kettle? Yeah, there is a smart kettle. Oh, that's, a, that's what we want. So, so how does it... How does it You've actually got one already. How just take, Stephen's just taken one. Okay. Stephen's taken one, has yeah. he? Okay, so, so... Okay, brilliant. Oh, marvellous, that. Can we open this one? So, so can you talk me through how a smart kettle works? Is it all about energy or is it all about turning it on? What's it about? Uh, it's... It's an automated device, so in reality, if you want to wake up in the morning, you want to be really clever, you can just say, Alexa, turn the kettle on. So by the time you come down the stairs, the kettle's already boiled, so you actually spend four minutes of your day no longer waiting for the kettle to boil. Okay. Will Alexa also be filled up with water? If, if you have forgotten to fill it up with water, you will get it safely cutting out okay. um, and if you so wish to call it say it, it would give you a look you haven't put me put the water in the kettle mm -hmm. that's a routine you can set up for it to, to do that type of thing. oh right okay so so we're talking about the smart kettle not a smart socket now aren't we so it's the kettle we're giving the instructor to from Alexa this is a direct um, communication device to Alexa or to your smart app or it can be part of a range of other things or other devices in your home so yes you you notice you can set it to come on for example if you've got a baby and you want to heat it to 70 degrees baby wakes up Alexa turn on the you know baby heater and it'll heat the water to exactly the temperature you set and hold it so it's already saving you a bit of time. as we know if you work with Gary he'll boil the kettle you make the cup of tea, he leaves it for about three hours and then comes back to it, in which case we'll just be able to hit it straight to 70 degrees and you can drink it straight away, Gary. Okay. However, I, I really like that feature. So imagine we've got the crying baby, you know it's a feeding time. I've, I've given the instructor to Alexa in my bedroom. I've gone to the child that's crying to comfort them. By the time I've married the two together, obviously that waters me up to temperature. It's already ready to go, yes, indeed. Simple yeah. things like that, I like well, it. I bet he never did one feed, I did loads of feeds. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Drop in at High Lake as well. I think there's another new box on High Lake. Is this the DE Box 11? Hello, oh, yeah. this is. There you Ooh, go. And we featured one. on our EFIX uh, oh, that the one Electrical on the News oh, Weekly yes. last week. So give just us, uh, some good reviews, I believe. Yeah, so Electrical yeah. News Weekly, that's a new thing. It's also a podcast, isn't it, Gordon, it is. that you can catch up with it's every week. We right. go through all the news stories so this you don't have to. And so this, this one, this one, came, box. This one came into our stories, didn't yeah. it? Yeah, so it's got a flexible gasket in there if you want to just bring your cables in, or it's got the threaded cable entry as well. And so. it, as when I thread into it, does it pop the actual thing through as well at the same time yeah, yeah. as we thread in? Yeah, okay, so when we when we do those, it clears it as well. So you can use it as a, a gasket, or obviously you can use a gland in there as well. Have you got those lovely glands that work? Oh, that's what you certainly have. Oh, so, so let's have a look. So these, the, yeah, so if we, yeah. Do, do. We love the quick fit glands. Yeah, quick fit glands. So loosen it off. It's the opposite way, isn't it? Yeah. So there you go. And uh, you basically insert it back in, the big lip forward. Uh, you rotate the thread in reverse direction, as we're doing. And one, two, three, four, five. There you go. Yeah. No need for a lot, uh, a nut. Copyright is so much. Yeah, we like them. Yeah, we like them a lot. These are absolutely... That's the future. It's the future of... Uh, the future's here, folks. The future's here. <laughs> so there you go, gents. I hope you like it.
It's our go-to Kale Glen, then. Yeah, it we is. We love them. Another product, actually, we've got, we haven't done a review of yet. Oh, no. That's the, it might, the thermal camera. So if I just stand here, Gary. If you come around here, Rich, you'll see that uh, we can get Gary in. This is Gary's thermal performance at the minute. So I think he needs to go and see a doctor. That's what right, I, I, I can see myself in the big telly. Oh. What's, what's wrong with me? Uh, yeah, temperature at the minute. I'm always hot, folks. I'm always hot. I'm genuinely always, yeah, not yeah. that hot. But so we yeah. have got one of these. You know, we haven't done a review of it yet. We have been playing with it a while. You may have seen some of the footage in some of the videos. We made the video, obviously, in the Prem Spec video for the heaters. So oh, we right, can see yeah. the different fan heaters and things like that, uh, heating and cooling. So seen that, that heating stuff. pattern, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. So that's a good product. So I think, I guess, Gary, that, that almost, oh, couldn't complete a visit to the electro without dropping in on TIS or Test Instrument Solutions. We've got Mark here. Mark. Such a lovely bloke, Mark is. Yeah. Lovely bloke. So no one wants to be, no, everyone says Mark, such a lovely bloke, <laughs> and they want to be above Aaron, don't they? They do, yes. Because yes. yeah. yeah, you're yeah, such yeah. a lovely bloke, aren't Thank you? you? I am indeed, yes. You are such a lovely bloke. Yeah. And now, Mark, you, earlier on, you've got some solar kit, haven't you? We've, got, we've done really well with solar kit. Let's yeah. have a look at the solar kit. Yeah. Where's the solar kit? What do so, we need for solar? So we need um, a multi-string insulation tester, which right. this one will do, and also we have um, some solar PV irradiance testing equipment along with the associated true RMS clamp meter to make sure that the two are correlating a so strong sun strength. Try saying that with your teeth out. Yep. Um, and, and, and also that should then correlate to the right sort of current that's being um, output from the uh, from the panel. Oh wow! There's a lot of interest in that at the moment. Lots of interest. At the You'd minute. think yeah, energy so prices that, have gone yeah, up, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So that that's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's a well, hopefully, in his temperature as well. Becoming flushed as you can see. Get a bit warm. <laughs> That's brilliant. Leave more, mate, Mark alone. No worries, mate. I go, Steve. Yeah, good. Mark recognised Steve from the video he made first, where you took us through your EV tester, didn't you? For every stage. We did. You did smuggle one lead in for me, didn't you? That I caught in the edit. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. It's good. I did yeah, but a bit bit warmer today though than it was that day. Well, you haven't got your hat on. It's freezing. Yeah. Again, we'll leave a link for that one in the description. We'll leave Mark's race all out because Mark's such a lovely bloke. We'll leave him alone. But the video me and Steve made, we'll leave a link for that one in the description as well. Check out that EV tester as well, which is a cracking bit of kit. And your, your video work was brilliant, by the way. Thank you, James. You're, you're welcome. We're moving on. Yeah. <laughs> I, think, I think we've got to look at this one last. Oh. I, think, I think we're going to have a look here because I think we need some cameras in our uh, line side studios, don't oh, we? Oh, we do, yes. Yes, we've got to do those within six weeks, I think, we'll according to the insurance that, company. That, yes, we have just taken out a new insurance. And, uh, yeah, we need, a, we need a camera here, so... Mm. Well, I'd like to say, first of all, the picture quality, I don't know if it's going to come across that, is absolutely amazing, Rick. That is, uh, yeah, it's brilliant. Yeah, Rick's getting himself on telly as normal, yeah. Okay, remember, Rick, you'll be on the camera, son. Yeah. So, quick, quick overview of your product for me. Absolutely, sir. Well, you've got two ranges. You've got the Concept Pro, which is our, well, Vidicon's flagship brand. Right. Uh, Korean build, NDAA compliant. And then you've got your Uniview uh, CCTV as well, which is, it's a Chinese product, but it's still... NDAA compliant to hit those uh, Amer so American military bases. The question everyone's thinking, bases. what's NDAA? Very good question. That's why I did it. I set it up for that, really. Yeah. Uh, so it's the uh, National Defence Authorisation Act. Right. So I would have said that. Yeah, absolutely. You would have said the tip that, of his, on the tip of his tongue. Um, so it's, it's effectively, uh, there are other brands that use a high silicon chipset, which is vulnerable to cyber attack, mm -hmm. whereas anything with an NDAA compliancy badge isn't. Right. So, and if it's good enough for the American military, then you know it's good enough for our unit. Yeah, good enough for Lineside Studios, where I think we're going to uh, maybe be smuggling a few of these in, aren't we? Yeah. Sounds good to okay. me. So these are power over Ethernet. Poe. Yeah. We have a kit here, uh, which is well, this particular one's a turret kit. So you've got four cameras, right. uh, a machine with a hard drive built in, your cabling, and a HDMI. Effectively, pick that box up, go and install it. And, that uh, sounds like a Gary kit, doesn't it? So all the yeah, bits right. are in the box, and I've just got to push them together, and it's off and working. Absolutely, that's it. Nice and easy. Well, I might even have to attempt that myself. That's good. Good. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Yeah, that's a first. You, go heard, on, it you, want to you, yeah, you yeah. heard it here. Gary might even we'll, attempt uh, that. We'll, it's that easy. We'll sit by and watch that happening. So I think that concludes our whistle stop tour here at Harrogate at the Elect Show. We've picked up a lot of interesting products and some that we'll probably take back to Lineside Studios and take a further delve into, won't yeah, we? Yeah, there's some new discoveries that we haven't seen before and some old favourites that we've seen, the ones we have seen before on the channel. I will leave a link in the description below. And as ever, if you've spotted something that we've missed or you'd like to put a comment in on the products we've seen today, 
put them in the comments below and Gary will answer all of them personally. All of them personally. Thank you very much. Yeah, cheers, mate. I appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs>